You have to be very careful. You need to understand the demand in the area, the neighborhood, but more importantly, all of the little nuances that come with owning a strip center. When you have multiple tenants in a retail strip center, there's a lot of things you need to think about, co-tenancy clauses, things like that, anchor tenant clauses, things like that. But one of the biggest items that you need to understand is the cost of turnover. You have to factor in tenant improvement allowances and understand how to amortize that in your investment and how the lenders and the banks are gonna look at those improvements if you want to capitalize them, refinance your building and include them in that refinance process. So there's a number of ways to account for that. Some owners will offer a tenant improvement allowance and will escalate the lease amount, the rent amount in order to offset for that. Some will offer no tenant improvement allowance and then reduce the rental rate to get people in. So a lot of it's going to depend on how high of a demand your center is and what the demand for space is in your area and also who the tenant is. And when you're looking at tenants for a retail strip center, you wanna make sure you underwrite them and understand their credit rating and their ability to facilitate their business plan. So you gotta underwrite not only the individual behind the business, but you need to underwrite the business, their business plan, kind of look at their market. So it's a lot of fun owning a retail strip center. It's entrepreneurial, you can get involved with a lot of different businesses, a lot of different entities, and kind of exercise that entrepreneurial muscle, that creative entrepreneurial bent that you may have. That's what I like about retail and office is it's very entrepreneurial. I love helping other entrepreneurs and digging into their business models and just kind of learning about their businesses, the different kinds of businesses. It's a lot of fun. And the things that you find out is it doesn't really matter what the business is. The fundamentals are all the same. So it's all about a market. It's all about creating opportunity, solving problems, and fulfilling a need in the market place. So if you have a retail center or you're looking to get into that business, you need to understand the market, the demand, the metrics that go into that, what the cost of the turnover is going to be. You need to understand the tenant and their business model and the viability of their business moving forward. Are they going to be able to pay the rent? At the end of the day, it needs to be a win-win. So your goal should not be to raise rents as much as you possibly can on that tenant. You want them to be successful, especially in this environment. Retail is struggling. Restaurants are struggling. Office tenants are struggling. So you don't want to get into a situation where your entire business model is counting on extracting as much rent as possible out of that tenant. Your business model should be based on helping them be successful, helping them grow their business so that they can be a long-term tenant and pay more in the long run, but not exponentially more to where it damages their business. So you need to understand what a healthy rent to sales ratio is for different types of businesses, what a healthy rent per square foot is for different types of businesses in different areas. So you want to make sure that you set your tenants up for success so that everybody wins at the end of the day and you're not dealing with constant turnover and the expenses of turnover and things like that.